This break is brought to you by Netflix. Head on over to netflix.com slash GameBreakerTV to sign up for a free 30-day trial. That's right, you can stream all of your favorite TV shows and movies right into the comfort of your very own home for free as a gift. So be sure to go sign up or just click the banner right below this video and it'll take you right over there. Now, public dungeons are something that we haven't really seen in mainstream MMOs since EverQuest, but it looks like they're gonna be making a triumphant return in the Elder Scrolls Online. Here with, uh, here with more information on this story is Game Breaker writer Jason Winner. Jason? Well, game director uh, Matt Fire recently spoke to Edge Online. He says he remembers the good times he had in public dungeons and EverQuest, and he wants to recreate that in Elder Scrolls Online. He wants to, as he said, put people together in places where they want to work with others. And it's easy to see you know, how fun these sort of things can be if they're done right. It's just, it just can be kind of difficult to pull off. And, and that's something you got to think about is just because, you know, something was personally fun for someone years ago where the state of the game was at doesn't necessarily mean it's going to translate well in today's, you know, generation of, of, of gaming and, and where we've kind of evolved to. Could, because that was like a, a really big issue in the original EverQuest was was public dungeons. They had a lot of spawn camping, you know, griefing and, and, and just a whole bunch of, of problems that kind of came with them, even though it was fun. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of distaste for them as well. So uh, how do you think they're going to approach public dungeons so that they avoid these pitfalls? Well, that's the interesting point of it is we really don't know. They didn't give a whole lot of details about what they're going to do with it. And that's sort of a microcosm of all the info we've been receiving about Elder Scrolls Online. You know, in the last month or so, we've been getting a lot of these snippets. You know, we had like 10 or 15 interviews, stories, all sorts of various things. But we're not getting a whole lot of real details on exactly what they're going to do. And, and gamers naturally... They hear a little bit of information and they expect the worst. You know, we we can hope that they're gonna they're gonna fix it. Like you said, he's not just gonna do this because it was fun for him personally, but because they hopefully have a real plan on how to implement this properly. And and but I think they're you know they're gonna have to really you know dig deep and start providing some really concrete details exactly about how the different things in their game are gonna work. Can I just say that before we get you know the next little tidbit of information, can we please just get another trailer, some more B-roll, please? <laughs> Please, I'm just putting it out there. We would love to have uh, some more video to show, but... That's something else they have to do, too. I mean, because people are sort of complaining about the visuals, and, you know, if we could actually see how it looks for real, that would be a nice thing. All right, so, you know, even if they, they step up and they do public dungeons right, um, like I said, are they even really necessary these days? We, we've kind of... Uh, evolved as a gaming community and we, ha we have public grouping and, and, and quests in, in games like Rift and Guild Wars. Is, is a, a public dungeon something that's really even necessary at this point? It would seem to be kind of similar to, like I said, what we're seeing with open world stuff in those, those kind of games. And that the only real difference maybe with a public dungeon would be that the dungeon is underground, a little more contained, more restrictive in your movement, and maybe it's challenging boss monsters running around. You know, back, you know, back in the EverQuest days, it was different because you didn't have that sort of thing by and large. But in games that are going to have that sort of thing in the open world as well, which Elder Scrolls Online sounds a little bit like what they're doing, it's going to require something really special to distinguish the dungeons from other content. And I think, yeah, and I think, you know, just, just uh, you know, it's kind of like a little final note is, is that public dungeons kind of seemed fun in EverQuest because of what you had available to do. And it's kind of what you were saying is, is as you broaden up the availability of the, the fun things that we've learned to give players over the years, now it's, it's almost like public dungeons are a, almost a nuisance at this point. So it's yeah, interesting. I mean, Go ahead. All right, hopefully they can. Hopefully they can provide some additional perks, some additional interesting things to it, to make it worth going in there. All right, guys. Well, it's interesting to see. We will definitely keep you updated as we learn more about the Elder Scrolls, and hopefully we get a new trailer sometime soon. So keep it Please. tuned right here to Game Breaker TV. We will keep you updated. Thanks for watching. See you next time.